The Duxbury Crematory first opened in 1980. Since then, it has become one of the busiest crematories in the country, sometimes performing 16 cremations a day. Paul Bruce has been the crematory's operator for the last six years. He explains what happens after the funeral directors make their deliveries. Well, as the bodies come in, we'll uh, check all the paperwork first, which are five documents they have to have. Authorization, uh, death certificate, check, burial permit, and ME certificate. He arranges the caskets and puts them in order. From there... Uh, the machines pretty much take over. At 1,600 degrees, each cremation takes about two and a half hours. Once the chambers, or retorts, cool down, the operator steps in. Then we have to clean out the retorts, collect all the remains, which at that point the, the bones are pretty big. Uh, we bring them to racks to cool down, and then after that we uh, process them. After that we put them in the individual containers, either cardboard or plastic, or some of the funeral homes bring urns. Bruce says his job is more than just a job. He takes pride in what he does. We treat the people with a lot of dignity because we, we realize that this is pretty much the, uh, their, last, uh, their last place where their loved ones see them.